1992 Kentucky Derby had arguably the most hyped horse in the history of the Derby, Arazi. Well, the whole key is Arazi, and whether or not he is a wonder horse. Kentucky bred horse, career mostly in France. 1991 Breeders' Cup Juvenile, he dominated. He was still all the buzz because everybody just remembered that powerful move that he had made in the Breeders' Cup as a two-year-old. Little E.T. was a long shot. Uh, Pat Day was his jockey. Little E.T. today, Pat Day has won everything Kentucky has to offer, almost. The winningest rider in Churchill Downs history, he's never won the Derby. I felt like I'd gone into the race um, uh, with, a, with a better opportunity in years previous. As the race unfolded, Lily T was up underneath of me in hand, just waiting for me to give him the nod to move on. And about that time, a horse called Arazi, he went by me with uh, Patrick Valenzuela in the saddle. And as he went by me, I thought, I'm running for second money. And then comes Lily T. Arazi is now charging up in the middle of the racetrack. Arazi is flying. Here's Arazi again, makes that same move that he had made in the Breeders' Cup and just started passing horses like they were tied to a post. He got about four or five lengths in front of me and then just stayed there. And so as I followed him around the turn, about the 5 16th pole, come to the quarter pole, I seen Patrick kind of give it this move. Now three of them tightly bunched as they turned for home. And he was turning him loose. He was stepping on the accelerator. He got no response. And at that point, I go, forget him. He's done. And down the stretch they come. Lily T on the outside with Pat Day takes command. When Lily T and I went past casual lives, there was a feeling that started way down deep in the pit of my stomach that just continued to grow with every jump as we neared the finish. Lily T wins the derby by one. When we crossed the finish line, I just stood up and, and just went to screaming, thank, thank you. you, Jesus. Praise Jesus, hallelujah. All yes. in God's good time. And it was at that moment after the, the, the winter circle ceremony, Pat raised his arms into the air. So I just raised my hands and looked to the heavens and that was the highlight of my career. Uh, went in the Derby, tremendously blessed to uh, have a statue, a statue um, in the Rose Garden next to Aristides and uh, with my hands upraised and thanking the Lord.